See, I'm here to do my ghetto use volume um, 49, I think this is. But if it's not, the correction will be in the description box below. Um, my, for my new subscribers, my ghetto views is things that, just my opinion on things that I've seen on the, in the news. I mean, on the news, in the blogs, people have sent me links to. So, like I said, it's just my opinion. So, I don't want nobody panties in a bunch. Um, things that I'm going to read about, they're alleged or they're rumors. So, I don't want to get sued. Just putting that out there. Um, but let's get into the drama, the fuckery, and everything else that happened so far this week. Um... I want to start off with my thoughts and prayers to the people, you know, that Malaysian plane that, um, disappeared. I don't know all the full details, um, about that, but I was like, damn, that's fucked up and it's a sad situation. So my thoughts and prayers are to everybody that was involved or affected by that situation. Um, my thoughts and prayers are also to the people that was affected by that, um, I think it was the Harlem um explosion yeah them two buildings and the they had to, like the gas leak i thought that was a real fucked up situation my thoughts and prayers go to those people now some of those people are, are without a home some are homeless you know some people probably don't have no family they can go stay with until they find somewhere to go so my thoughts and prayers are to them and i hope things get better and i hope everybody that has something to do with that be held accountable for their role in that explosion like the gas company the uh owners the managers or whatever because i heard these people complain before so um i hope everybody be held accountable for their actions um what else anything else that was just like wanted to get out the way okay Anyway, just some news. This might be a little long because I had a lot of stuff that I've seen or somebody sent me or whatever. Um, the Minneapolis, is that what it's called? Um, man, he, 32, punches an 8-year-old and steals his iPad. That is the most dumbest, immature thing that I've, like... Really? You 32 and you taking something from an 8 year old and you have to punch him to get it? Like how scary are you? Like that you really, you can just snatch it. I don't even think you should have been doing that because you fucking 8 year old that you taking from. That's some bullshit. And I hope somebody in his family catch you and whoop your ass. Just period point blank. That was some fucked up shit. I wish somebody would come and take my son and he 13 come take his iPad. It's going to be some problems and repercussions if you know who it is. I'm just saying. Or we find out where they be at. Mm -mm. Um, a man shoots up a tax office because I guess his check wasn't ready. <laughs> that is, like I said, some old ratchet ghetto shit. This is called the ghetto view, so I got to give you the ghetto news. This is some ghetto shit. So now you really ain't going to get your check. Or if, you, if it's approved and it's available, you're not going to see it. You're not going to get it. Dumbass, now you're going to be in jail paying some restitution and lawyer fees and all that kind of shit. Dumb. Just dumb. Um, just dumb. Like, why would... Whatever. Um, a woman dead in a house <laughs> because I guess she paid up on her house or something for six months. So, nobody thought to go to her house. I guess she ain't got no family members. I don't know. But she was dead in this house. And I was just like, damn. Damn. You need to have a life alert chain? I don't know. But, damn. That was crazy as hell. Um, yeah, I seen that on um, Mike B thing. I was like, wow. Shout out to Mike B. Justin Bieber in this goddamn deposition. Can y'all deport this motherfucker? I'm just sick of him. I, I don't want... Because when I was seeing him on this deposition, it just looked like he didn't have a care in the world. He looked like he was high. Like, I don't give a fuck. Whatever I say, y'all still ain't going to do nothing to me. So now what? And then when they asked him about Selena Gomez, he was like, don't ask me about her. Don't ask me. I'm like, who, do, who are you, little boy? This is court. This is legal shit. Like, do y'all not have courts in Canada? Like, sorry, no shade to Canada, but like, 
this boy don't know how to conduct himself. And I understand he's young, but fuck that. You know how to conduct yourself in court. Or at least you should. Or you should have got prepped. I don't know. Your lawyer was sitting right there. He should have told you, like, look, oh boy, you, this is not how you act in a, in a court proceeding. Like, send this boy back where he came from. He ain't got good music anyway. Send him back where he came from. Don't nobody out here care but these little fast tail ass little girls. And they ain't paying no goddamn rent and bills. So they ain't got no say so. Send his ass back. Just saying. Um, the teacher that showed her students her sex tape. Bitch, are you serious? Fuck sex education, health class. We don't want to see your nasty ass on tape. That's some, uh-uh. That is, I would have been the mama waiting after school like you better have the police there. Because I'm going to fuck this broad up. Just even, not even with her. Out here in Vegas, it was a teacher having a relationship with some little 15 year old little boy. And she looked like she could have been like in her early 20s or whatever. I would have been waiting after school beating her up too. They had all kind of shit with them corresponding for, um, to each other or whatever through Facebook. They showed her Facebook picture so you could tell she was one of those little, I don't see how she got a teacher's job. I don't know. Like, damn. Like, don't you know you're a teacher? You shouldn't even be posting stuff like that on Facebook anyway. So, come on now. Like, but you fucking with a 15-year-old bitch. You couldn't get nobody around your neighborhood. You couldn't get n nobody. It's too many lonely motherfuckers out here that's pussy hounds for you to go to a 15-year-old. I'm just saying. Just like I always say, dudes shouldn't be raping girls. It's too much pussy out here. Just, girl. It's too many dudes looking for pussy for you to be going around looking for little kids. I'm just, mm, that's some nasty shit. I hope she get under the jail. Bitch, I hope his mama beat you up. I'm just saying. Um, Portia Stewart. I didn't get to hear that um snippet or whatever, that flatline snippet. Probably really don't care, but I didn't get to hear that. Um, But her not getting no money. No, nothing. All she got was her engagement ring, which which is worth like nineteen thousand dollars. Come on now. Um, she got her clothes. She got jewelry, whatever. Her clothes in the back, whatever she got. She just didn't get none of his houses, cars, none of that kind of stuff. I don't understand. Told you this is how. Why you should just you should have just stayed quiet and been his trophy wife because. Now we just see how dumb you really, really are. You didn't have no prenup. So how did he get... I think, me personally, my opinion, I think he got away with a lot of stuff as far as not giving her shit because she bashed him so much on social media and TV and every platform she got. She bashed him and kind of insinuated that he was gay and stuff like that. I think that's why she didn't get shit, really. I really think that's why she didn't get shit. Because she was really out here bashing him. Regardless. We don't know if it's true or false. Whatever. But she was. She, he wasn't saying nothing. He wasn't too much bashing her. We may be seeing him on one or two interviews or whatever. Of him just saying that she wanted the party. So he was just putting it out there that she was coming home 2 or 3 in the morning and want the party. She the one was out here bashing him. So she made it look like she was bitter. So, to probably a judge, you know what I'm saying, they probably was looking like, well, he said she was a partier, she didn't want to be a mom at home, or whoop, whoop, whoop. Then she out here on TV, wilding out, talking shit about him, being bitter. That's probably why she didn't get shit. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. Um, I just think it was more to that why she didn't get what she probably should have got. I don't know. But that just shows you, ladies, don't go on these ranting raves when your old damn divorce ain't final because he can use all that shit against you in court. Um, what else? Bill O'Reilly and the Beyonce. I really wasn't going to talk about it because I'm not a stan of Beyonce's, but right is right, wrong is wrong, and Bill O'Reilly was fucking wrong. How do you judge this girl on her video and take one... First of all, 
I understand Parsha Titian just came out to the people that didn't buy her album. I understand that. But y'all let her perform on that the Grammys or whatever them are, and y'all had her gyrating on the goddamn chair. Wasn't a problem but then for the white people. So why all of a sudden now she's not a role model to these kids, which she never said she wanted to be in the first goddamn place. Come on now. Y'all the one made this girl, this princess, this queen of all of the music and shit. Now she ain't doing what you want her to do. Now she a bad role model and she this and she that boy boo bye. I want somebody to take Bill O'Reilly off the air because he just feel like he can say what he want to say and no repercussions. I just can't stand that man and I don't watch his show so that's probably why I really didn't care about talking about this. Whatever. Didn't really want to give him no shine. Um. What else? Little Boosie baby mama's trying to get a reality show. Bitch y'all should have tried to get the reality show when he was in jail. Why try it now? Y'all should have been trying to make some money off of him while he was in jail showing the world how y'all making it what without the rapper. Yeah, maybe I should have went to Mona Scott and told her to put a child on some shit, some loving hip hop down south type shit. But don't wait till he get out of jail. Now all of a sudden y'all want this thing. Bitch boo. Boo. Go to the job. I don't know. Do something else. I don't know. Um Chris Brown headed back to jail because he ain't got kicked out of rehab. I'm like, damn, one week we like this a uh, Chris Brown, then it's this a uh, Chris Brown. Him and Justin Bieber, I don't know. Y'all need to go hang together because both of y'all on some fuckery bullshit that don't nobody care about. And if you don't want to get yourself together, why should we care about you getting yourself together? We should just say fuck you and let you go sit in the corner some goddamn where. Nobody should be promoting you and buying your shit. If you don't care about yourself, why should we? Um, what else? Master P left his, him and his ex-wife, I guess they broke up, had for the divorce or whatever. But she's saying that he, um, he left her homeless, she had to move in with little Romeo, she had to apply for welfare. And I'm like, what? But I'm like, y'all been married for so long, why you didn't have no money put up, saved up? Um, sorry, I mean, I, I think this is a wrong fucked up situation if it is true. You know, a uh, masterpiece part, but as women, we just need to protect ourselves. All I'm sorry. I mean, I love my babe and all that, but some you you just got to be prepared for things that might come and make sure you can still stand on your feet. I'm just saying, like I don't will never want to be in a position in my life where if my babe said, you know what, I'm not doing this no more. I ain't taking care of y'all no more. And then I feel like, oh my God, my world is over. I never want to feel like that. And I don't want women to feel like that. So make sure you always got a backup plan. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I understand being loyal and faithful, but I understand not being stupid. Um, what else? The Houston father that killed that boy that found, he found in his daughter's room. I thought... You know, at, when I first heard it, I was like, well, my daddy was like that too. Motherfucker, if I catch you on my daughter's room, I'm going to kill you. I don't know if he was really serious, which I believe he was. So I was like, okay, damn, I understand. But I'm like, damn, I got a son. And I would hate for that to be my son. Like, fuck. So I feel like the father should have handled that in a whole different mature situation. I heard his son had told him that a boy was in his daughter's room. So you never know how he told him. Or whatever. But I just feel like as a man you should have handled that a whole different way. Now your life is over. Your kids got to be affected that your life is gone to jail. I don't know. It's just the whole story didn't add up. So I'm just like damn. Just because you didn't want to think and be mature and grown about the situation. Now a lot of people was affected by this. The boys family, your family, all that. I just think people need to be smarter in their decision instead of just thinking and, I mean, just doing stuff without thinking. Um, that shit with Portia putting on the internet that she went with that dude and then Tamala um, Jones came out and was like, no, that's my man. I just was like, damn, what a camera's that? I want to see that part. Because one minute Portia was saying that was her man and then she took the shit down. Now she said that wasn't her man. I was just like, oh, this is some drama that I would love to see on camera. Just saying. Because I'm saying they're like, 
question. Y'all talked about Kenya. Now, you, you fucking with somebody, man? Just saying. Want to see that on camera. Real Housewives next season. Just saying. <laughs> um, mm. Anyway, that's really what I wanted to talk about as far as news and shit like that. Um, I really don't have too much, but I just want to talk about some things. Um, TV things that I watched last night when I came, well, this morning when I came from the club. You know how you just be turning and turning. So, I think I stopped on PBS or something. And it was this show, I'm not sure what it was called, but it had these different celebrities going to, like, these different countries, foreign countries, like, well, not foreign countries, but just different countries. Um, I think it was Colombia. What was it? Was it Colombia? What was that? Oh, no, Cambodia. They went to um, Somalia. And it was different celebrities. And it was happening with little different girls. One was they was having like sex trafficking. One was about the girls not being able to go to school so they could provide for their family. But these, the one with the sex trafficking, they were taking little girls to brothels and putting them in brothels as young as three years old. And I'm sitting there like, wow. I mean, I'm sitting there, couldn't even go to sleep because I'm so into this story. They even had Gabrielle Union on there. They had Meg Ryan on there. And it was just a really touching show because I was sitting there like, the world is out here fighting over bullshit. Y'all are fighting over bullshit. And this is something that we can be fighting for, saving these kids and saving these little girls from going through sex trafficking. This is what we need to be fighting for. Not for who got the best oil, who got the best computer shit, chips and making money. We need to save these kids. So we can have a future. I'm just saying. Like, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. But when I seen that show, it kind of touched me. Because I'm like, damn. Like, this is what we need to be focused on. Not this bullshit that, I don't know, this uh, Russian shit where gay is not accepted. This is, that's bullshit. I'm just saying. Like, people should be accepted and be able to live where they want to live. So that's bullshit to me. We need to go find these little girls and get them out of these situations. Especially when it's happening when they're three years old. Being in brothel. One girl was um in a brothel when she was, I think, trying to get out or something. They fucking, the brothel lady got the girl eye out. And then she was still making her have sex while fucking eye was bleeding and shit. And she didn't have no eye. They were still making her sleep with these men. And the men were so drunk, they didn't even notice that the girl was bleeding and shit from the eye. And the only reason why she got rescued is because they raided the place. But the little girl was still fucked up. Probably caught an infection in her eye, so they had to dig her old eye little thing. I was like, damn. So this is what we need to focus on, uh, government and all these stupid people that's fighting over bullshit. Just saying. Um, I watched that show Believe it premiered this week because I was thinking Blacklist was coming on this week and it didn't. Um, it come on next week, so I'll be watching that. Um, but yeah, that show Believe, it kind of reminded me of the show Firestarter with, um, Drew Barrymore when she was little. That's what it reminded me of. And it was a really good show. So I suggest y'all check it out on Mondays on um, NBC. I don't know what time it comes on in your state, but check it out anyway. Um, I checked out that show, Nashville Wise. I think it come on TNT. I liked it that. I liked that. It didn't have too much ratchet drama so far, but I liked that show. Uh, Preacher's Daughters. That shit needs to go off the air. I don't know. First of all, one of the girls, she like 21, she be drunk. She had to go back to her parents' house because she got evicted from her house. I'm like, girl, you too grown. So, they didn't, you shouldn't even be on the show. Um, I think her name is Taylor. I don't like her mom and daddy. How y'all gonna try to hook her up with some corny-ass dude? And I think he just was putting on for the cameras, acting like he was a good boy. Come on, you wanna go get ice cream? I think he, yeah, I don't think he as good as he, um, his daddy think he is. Um... The dad that didn't want to pay for his daughter to go to college or whatever because he want her to go to Bible college or some shit. I'm like, this is stupid. Like, this is stupid. You are a pastor. And, I mean, like, I, I just don't get with these pastors that have limits on their kids spanning their horizons and being supportive to their own kids. But this is what you preach in church, to be supportive of your, of your kids. And you're not supportive of your daughter want to go to fashion school because you want her to follow into your footsteps. No. You see, your other daughters was like, bullshit, that, that shit didn't pan out right for them. Come on now. 
Um, what else? The Real World Explosion. Jay, he's a bitch boy. He's a mama's boy. You can tell that. He ain't got no backbone. He was all scared about them showing that video. And I'm sitting there like, you act like you was fucking on the video. And everybody saw you kiss that girl on the cheek. So, it was going to be shown anyway. So, what's the problem? Now, MTV, y'all are fucked up for just popping up videos and shit on the damn thing. With people just sitting there like just random videos. I was fucked up. But, Jay, you stupid. And his girl... Friend, you stupid too for even stand. If you still with him, you stupid. Um, Thomas and Jamie. Jamie was a punk bitch for letting that girl hit all on Thomas and not say nothing. I don't think Jamie can fight. I don't. Cause y'all remember when Ashley went at her? She was she didn't pop off at Ashley. She was once Ashley started popping off, she kind of got quiet. Then when this girl hitting on Thomas, you talking about, oh, well, he made me mad, so I'm not going to say anything. And then when you went in her room and tried to talk, and then she, they was popping off, we walked out. So I don't think she could fight. I don't. I don't. I think she all mouth. I really do. Um, you was out of line for getting so, you, she, she just too jealous for me. And I don't think that relationship is going to work with her jealousy, like, for real. Now, was his ex-girl wrong dancing on him? Yes. Was he wrong for allowing that shit? Yes. Because your girlfriend is sitting right there and you already know how she feel. Now, I don't have a problem with my dude dancing with his exes. I just feel like if I have a problem with that, don't do that shit in my face. Don't do that shit, period. If I have a problem with it, don't do it, period. But I don't... I guess the way their situation is, that's why she have a problem and you doing it in her face. But all that jealousy shit... That ain't gonna work. But that girl needs to go home. She do. Or, I don't even think she needs to go home. I just think she needs to pay Thomas back and start fucking with some niggas up in his face. You can't stop her from bringing guys to the house. So, and then you gonna, she gonna bring the wrong, the right one to the house and gonna, you gonna get your ass with if you step to him. I'm just saying. So, yeah. And then that shit with, with uh, Corey going after Brian when, when he was going at talking to Thomas. That was out of line. Corey was just want to be up into some macho bullshit and want to come at Brian on some bullshit because that didn't have nothing to do with him. I don't care if you're sticking up for him. He grown ass man and that didn't have nothing to do with you. So whatever. Um, I watched Under the Gun. If y'all, I I love fashion shows, so I watched Tim um Under the Gun on um Lifetime. That should be so good. I am so going for Sean. I think that's his name. I think he, uh, and that girl, I think her name is Asha. The black, two black people. I think they're really, really talented, and I hope they make it to the top. Um, yeah, that's all I really have for this week. Sorry I didn't do Blood, Sweat, and Heels, but I'll do it tomorrow when it comes on. I'll do both of the things. So, um, yeah, that's all I have for my ghetto views this week. Um, uh, value 49, I think this is. Um, tell me what you thought of these topics. Um, and, yeah, talk to me. I'll talk to you back. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Plus, Xbox Live. I do everything by the good old view. T-H-A, not T-H-E. Um, follow my girl, actually, Miller1987. Might be 801. I'm going to start doing, starting with my 50th, um, my good old views. I'm going to start picking one person where I just shout you out and give you support. If you do music. If you do poetry or if you just have a YouTube channel that you want somebody to do, I'm going to start picking one person and I'm going to um, make them the person of the video. Like, you know, like the person of the week or whatever and show them some love so people can start checking them out, checking out their music or whatever they want to promote or whatever. Um, so, yeah, because you know me. I, I promote anybody if it's some good shit or if you're a real person and you're a good person. Um, yeah, then I'll promote you. So, if you got somebody that you know that you would like to promote their music or you know, um, you have music or poetry or whatever. And if it's good, I will promote it and you can be picked for the person of the week. I don't want to keep doing a list of people or whatever all the time and then people get mad that I ain't shout them out or whatever. But anyway, um, make sure you check out John Taylor's VH1 Access blog. 
um, where he gave you the latest. That's going to be mine for this week. I'm going to do John Taylor and check him out, his blogs. He always posts up my Bad Girls Club review videos. So check him out on his site. Um, yeah. All right, you guys. Peace out.